Now, the latest on the situation in Youngstown. In the last 90 minutes, the NTSB said it will launch an investigation into that natural gas explosion yesterday at the Chase Bank building. That explosion killed a banker inside and injured seven others, one of whom is in the ICU tonight on a ventilator. City leaders provided an update on the situation today, including the identity of that man who was killed. Kaitor K is live now in Youngstown with new information. Kaitor, good evening to you. Hey, good evening, Russ. So just a few minutes ago, Youngstown's mayor held a press conference here on the site of this building, and he said that the state fire marshal has concluded their investigation. We asked him if they gave him any insight onto what happened, and he said not yet. And then also within the last hour, the NTSB tweeted that pipeline and hazardous materials investigators are going to arrive today. The agency plans to give an update tomorrow, but hasn't announced at what time. Now, earlier today, the mayor said that he's not going to speculate on the cause of this explosion. However, he believes that the roads that surround the building will be closed for many days to come as this investigation continues. Our prayers and my thoughts go out to the, um, uh, the young man um, who uh, we found in the bank yesterday to his family. Um, to his co-workers, um, my heart goes out to them. Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown, the morning after the deadly natural gas explosion at the Chase Bank building downtown, the blast killing 27-year-old Chase Bank employee, Ollie Drake. It's a tough part when you have to tell a mother uh, that her son got up yesterday to go to work and he did not come home. This tragedy was... Uh hit our community pretty hard. Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley gave an update on the seven people still in the hospital. The most critical one, the lady, she's intubated on a ventilator in surgical intensive. The 13-story building houses 23 apartment units, all evacuated right now. The residents unable to access their belongings for the time being. There's nothing more immediate than, than, than life itself. And until I, the fire chief, of this city are in, is ensured by the structural engineers that that building is safe, nobody's going in that building. The mayor says that they are waiting on the owner of the building to bring a structural engineer to the site to examine the building. And of course, we'll be sure to give you the coverage tomorrow from the NTSB press conference, both on air and online. Russ. All right, Kaitor K in Youngstown, thank you. And tonight at 11 o'clock, we will have more from Youngstown, including a conversation with the boyfriend of the woman in ICU you heard about there. He's working to raise money for his girlfriend and her daughter. Lydia Esparra just spoke with him, and we'll bring you that conversation tonight at 11 o'clock.